Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says in the Quran, Inna sanulki alayka qawlan thaqila That indeed we are going to give you a heavy word. A word that has a lot of weight to it. And the scholars of Tafsir explain that this heavy word that Allah is referring to in this verse is the statement, La ilaha illallah. A statement that is actually a concept, an idea, an ideology, a methodology that the whole of the religion of Al Islam was founded on this one concept, and that is La ilaha illallah. So I just want to look at <clears throat> some examples to show how heavy the statement La ilaha illallah is. And that the statement itself is not just heavy, but it requires certain conditions in order for it to have that type of weight. The Prophet Sallallahu mentioned that Musa alayhi salam, he had a conversation with Allah Subhanahu Wa Ta'ala. Musa said, Ya Rabbi, a'atini shay'in adhkuruka bi wa ad'u wa ad'uka bi Oh Allah, give me something that I can supplicate to you with and I can remember you by. Keep those two things in mind. Give me something, O oh Allah, that, and this is also speaks to that human experience, that human desire for exclusivity. I want something specific for myself, right? When we look for names for our children, we're always looking for the most exotic name that no one else has because we want to be exclusive. That's just human. That's just human nature. So he said, give me something specifically for me that I can remember you by. That I can remember you by. That I can supplicate to you with. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala said, Ya Musa, kul la ilaha illallah. Musa, say la ilaha illallah. Which shows you that la ilaha illallah is a dhikr and that it's a dua. And many of the supplications you will always find la ilaha illallah in the dua. The dua of Yunus alayhi salam when he was in the well. وَنَادَى فِي الظُّلُمَاتِ أَنْ لَا إِلَهَ إِلَّا أَنْتَ سُبْحَانَكَ إِنِّي كُنْتُ مِنُ الظَّالِمِينَ When Yunus was in the belly of the well and he called out to Allah, the first thing he said was, لَا إِلَهَ إِلَّا أَنْتَ سُبْحَانَكَ Glory be to you, إِنِّي كُنْتُ مِنُ الظَّالِمِينَ I have been from amongst those who were wrongdoers. And many supplications, you will find لَا إِلَهَ إِلَّا اللَّهِ in the supplication. So Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala said to Musa, Musa, say لَا إِلَهَ إِلَّا اللَّهِ Musa said, Ya Rabbi, kullu ibadika ya kullu dhalika. Oh Allah, all of your servants say la ilaha illallah. Not really seeing the weightiness of it or the superiority of it. He said, Oh Allah, all of your servants say la ilaha illallah. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala said to Musa, Ya Musa, lo kana samawati sabah wa amiruhunna wal arudina sabah wa amiruhunna fil kiffah. وَلَا إِلَهَ إِلَّا اللَّهِ فِي كِفَّةٍ مَا لَتْبِهِنَّ لَا إِلَهَ إِلَّا اللَّهِ سُبْحَانَ اللَّهِ لَا إِلَهَ إِلَّا اللَّهِ Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala said, Musa, if all of the seven heavens and everything in them and all of the seven earths and everything in them was in one scale and لَا إِلَهَ إِلَّا اللَّهِ was in the other scale مَا لَتْبِهِنَّ لَا إِلَهَ إِلَّا اللَّهِ لَا إِلَهَ إِلَّا اللَّهِ would outweigh them all. إِنِّي سَنُلْقِي عَلَيْكَ قَوْلًا ثَقِيلًا We are going to give you a weighty word, a heavy word. Another example. The Prophet صلى الله عليه وسلم, he said, يوم القيامة استخرج الله رجلا من عباده That on the day of judgment, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala will single out one of his servants and bring them forward. يوم القيامة, everybody will be standing on one plane, naked, uncircumcised, and the Prophet وسلم, said that the sun will be bought, Mikdar al Mil, that the sun will be bought a mile's distance from creation. And everyone will sweat based upon the sins that they know they have to confront. The Prophet said some people will say sweat will come up to their ankles, some people will sweat and their sweat will come up to their knees, some people will sweat and their sweat will come up to their waist. Some people will sweat and their sweat will come up to their shoulders and some people will sweat and the sweat will go into their mouths. Everyone will sweat based upon what they know they have to be confronted with in front of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. But while we are standing in this situation waiting for judgment, 
Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala will single out one person and bring him up front. And then, فَيُخْرِجُ لَهُ تِسْعَ وَتِسْئِينَ سَجِلَّ كُلُّ سِجْلٍ مَدَّ الْبَصَرِ That the person, when he's brought up in front of everyone, 99, sca 99 scrolls will be brought out. Each scroll as far as the eye can see. And on those scrolls will be written his deeds. Good and bad. And Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala will ask the servant, How ظَلَمَتْكَ Ibadi, did any of my servants wrong you? Meaning my recording angels. The angels that are there recording down everything that you do and everything that you say. As Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says in the Quran, إِذِ يَتَلَقَّى مُتَلَقِّيَانِ عَلَى الْيَمِينِ وَعَلَى الشِّمَالِ قَعِي مَا يَلْفِذُ مِنْ قَوْلٍ إِلَّا لَدَيْهِ رَقِيبٌ عَتِيدٌ The angels on your right and on your left, not a word do you utter except that they write it down. Except that they write it down. A man insulted Abdullah bin Mubarak rahimahullah ta'ala, insulted him. And Abdullah bin Mubarak turned around to the individual and said to him, Hala wa sha'nuk fi annahu sajillak. Hala sajillak. Yani hala ma yaktu yuktab alika anta. Fa anta wa sha'nuk. He insulted Abdullah bin Mubarak. Abdullah bin Mubarak told to, turned to him and said, Do as you please, because it is your scrolls that is going to be written in. If that's what you decide to do then do as you please, because it is your scrolls. Because that will be waiting for you, Yom Al-Qiyamah. Everything that you do, everything that you say will be written. And Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala will tell him, Iqra' kitabaka. Read your book. Did my angels wrong you in anything? Did they write down anything that you didn't do or didn't say? And the man will turn to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala and say, La ya Rabbi. No, they haven't wronged me in anything. And Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala will ask them, Halaka hujja. Yo, Elio, do you have any excuses today? And the man will say, no. I don't. He said, how will I have any excuses in front of these 99 scrolls? And Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala will say to him, Bala, laka hujja. Yes, you do have an excuse today. فَيُخْرِجُوا بِطَاقَ مَكْتُوبٌ عَلَى بِطَاقَ قَوْلُهُ لَا إِلَهَ إِلَى اللَّهِ فَيُجْعَلَ الْبِطَاقَ فِي كِفَّةٍ وَتِسْأَ وَتِسْئِينَ السَّجِلَّ فِي كِفَّةٍ وَمَا لَتْ بِهِنَّ لَا إِلَهَ إِلَى اللَّهِ Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala will say, you do have an excuse today. And a card will be brought out. And on this card it will say, his shahada, la ilaha illallah. And his card will be put in one scale, and the 99 scrolls will be put in another scale, and his card with La ilaha illallah will outweigh the 99 scrolls and he will be told, enter into the paradise. Inna sanulti alayka qawlan thaqeena. We are going to give you a weighty word, a heavy word. However, La ilaha illallah has conditions. It's not just saying La ilaha illallah. It has conditions. Ibn Wahab, rahimahullah ta'ala, one of the scholars of the past, he was asked, Alaysa miftahul jannah La ilaha illallah? قال بلا لكن ليس هناك مفتاح إلا وله أسنان فإذا جئت إلى الباب المفتاح وله الأسنان فتح لك وإلا فلا ابن وهب was asked isn't the key to paradise لا إله إلا الله ابن وهب said yes of course it is he said but there are no keys except the key has ridges every key has teeth he says, so if you come to the door with the correct key, with the correct ridges, the correct key, uh, teeth, the door will open for you. And if not, then it will not. And the teeth, if la ilaha illallah is the key, then the teeth to the key are the conditions of la ilaha illallah. And the scholars mentioned that la ilaha illallah has seven conditions. Uh, I'll breeze through them really quickly. Very quick way to memorize them, the scholars put them in uh, a beta shi'ah. They put them in a line of poetry. Al-ilmu wal-yaqinu wal-qabulu wal-inqiyadu fadri ma'akulu wal-ikhlasu wal-sidku wa ma'habba wa-faqaka Allahu lima ahabba Ilmu, knowledge, wal-yaqinu, certainty, wal-qabulu, and acceptance. You have to have knowledge of la ilaha illallah. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says in the Quran, فَعْلَمْ أَنَّهُ لَا إِلَهَ إِلَّا اللَّهِ وَاسْتَغْفِرِ لِذَنْبِكِ 
have knowledge that there is nothing worthy of worship except the law, and then ask for your forgiveness. Then ask for my forgiveness. Right? So have knowledge. You have to know what la ilaha illallah means. La ilaha illallah has two concepts. And that is a confirmation and negation. And nafi wal ithbah. La ilaha, no God worthy of worship. La ilaha, no God worthy of worship. That is the negation. Illa Allah, except Allah. And that is the confirmation. And you can't have one without the other. You have to negate anything that is worshipped other than Allah. And you have to affirm that worship is only for Allah. Right. Number two, al yaqeen You have to have certainty about this statement. The Prophet Sallallahu he said that Man qala la ilaha illallah Mustaqinan bi qalbi dakhal al jannah Whoever says la ilaha illallah believing certainty with certainty in his heart he will be allowed to enter into paradise Al ilmu wa yaqinu wa al and acceptance You have to accept everything that comes with la ilaha illallah There's a wala and bara There's an association, affiliation and there's a disassociation when you say la ilaha illallah, you are associating yourself with a concept and a group of people who believe in that concept and you are disassociating yourself from people who don't believe in that concept and who wage war against that concept. But make no mistake about it, the war is not against Muslims. The war is against Islam. The war is not against Muslims. We just happen to be, you know, at the right place at the right time. But the war is not against Muslims. The war is against what we stand for, what we believe in. As Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says in the Quran, Ataqtulu rajulan ayyakula rabbi Allah, will you kill a man simply because he says, my Lord is Allah? That is the concept. That is exactly what is happening to Muslims all around the world. Are you going to kill a man because he says, Allah is my Lord? Because he says, la ilaha illallah. The war is not against us as Muslims. The war is against this statement, la ilaha illallah. That's because when la ilaha illallah comes, it changes things. When the Prophet ﷺ got up and he said to Quraysh, he said, have you ever known me to be a liar? They said, no. We've never known you to be a liar. He said, if I told you that there was an army behind this mountain getting ready to descend upon you and attack you, would you believe me? They said, yes, of course. He said, فَقُولُ la ilaha illallah. Say la ilaha illallah. Kalimatin, just a word. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala yaja'aluka maluk al-Arab. Allah will make you the kings of the Arab. Say la ilaha illallah. And Abu Lahab got up and he grabbed a handful of dirt. And he said, Tabbin laka ya Muhammad. And threw the dirt in the Prophet Sallallahu face. He said, Amma jama'atana illa lihada. You gathered us here together just for that. But prior to him saying la ilaha illallah, it was all good. It was all good. The moment he said la ilaha illallah, it changed everything. Showing you that it is not about us. It's about this concept, la ilaha illallah. So you have to accept everything that la ilaha illallah comes with. Al-ilm, wal-yaqinu, wal-kabulu. Knowledge, certainty, and acceptance. wal inqiyad and submission. You submit to what la ilaha illallah commands you. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says in the Quran, مَا كَانَ لِمُؤْمِنًا وَلَا مُؤْمِنَةً إِذَا قَضَ اللَّهُ وَرَسُولُهُ أَمْرًا أَنْ يَكُونَ لَهُمُ الْخِيرَةُ مِنْ أَمْرِهِمْ That if Allah and His Messenger, it is not befitting for a believing male, believing female, believing in what? لَا إِلَهَا إِلَّا That is not befitting for a believing male, believing female, that when Allah and His Messenger decide in the matter that they have any choice. They submit to it wholeheartedly. They submit to it wholeheartedly. والإخلاص and sincerity والصدق and truthfulness والمحبة and love these are the seven conditions of لا إله إلا الله العلم واليقين والقبول والانقياد فدر ما أكون وإخلاص وصدق ومحبة وفقك الله لما أحب والله تعالى أعلم صلى الله على نبينا محمد وعلى آله وصحبه وسلم تسليما كثيرا وآخر دعوانا أن الحمد لله رب العالمين والسلام عليكم ورحمة الله